Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a great weekend. Couple of quick things before we start the tech tip for today. Firstly, I'm sorry I did not get a tech tip out on Friday. Last week was crazy and I just ran out of time. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't get that up, so I apologize for that. Second is I wanted to give a quick update on the Erian app that I've been using to allow me to use my smartphone as a webcam. I did a couple of tech tips on that last week. Originally, I'd started with the Droidcam wireless app. Didn't really like it because um, it uh, didn't have great video quality and the app on my phone completely depleted my battery in no time. I switched over to the Erian app. Uh, Erian works on both iPhone, Android, and Mac and PC, and thus far it's been awesome. I'm actually using it right now to record this video. Uh, works perfectly well. Doesn't kill my battery the way the Droidcam Wireless uh, app did. So if you're interested in getting very high quality video um, using your smartphone as a webcam, definitely recommend checking out the Erian app. Today we're going to do another tech tip on electronically signing documents. Um, I made a couple of other tech tips about electronically signing documents using Adobe Acrobat or Preview on a Mac. Today we're going to look at um, electronically signing documents if you are a Chromebook user or a Google Drive user. Um, so let's jump right into this. So. Uh, I have a contract called Dummy Contract uploaded as a PDF to my Google Drive. Um, to upload a PDF to your Google Drive, all you need to do is go to this new button on the top left corner and select File Upload, and it will open File Explorer or Finder if you're on a Mac, and you'll be able to upload a PDF to Google Drive, or you can just simply grab a file and drag it into the Google Drive window, and it will also upload it to Google Drive. So I've got this dummy contract, and one thing that's really cool is that Google Drive will open a PDF as a Google Doc, which will then allow you to edit it or add a electronic signature. So to do that, we need to select the PDF, right-click it, and then select Open With, Google Docs, and it's going to convert this PDF to a Google Doc. It's now no longer a PDF, it's now a Google Doc. So once we're in here, this is now editable. As you can see, I can clean up that signature line. Um, so I'd be able to add text to this as I needed. But the other thing I can do is I can insert an electronic signature using Google Drawings. And the way we do that is select Insert at the top of the screen, and then select drawing and we're going to create a new drawing. Now Google Drawings uh, is a feature that's built right into Google Drive and you can use this in any Google Doc. So what we can do here is now switch this line tool to the scribble tool which will then allow me to use my mouse or my finger if I'm on a, a touchscreen computer to sign this document. So I'm just gonna kinda haphazardly sign this here. This obviously looks terrible. I would normally take my time to do this in a little bit more detail. Um, and hit save and close. And now this is inserted into my document. Now, one thing you'll notice is it's kind of messed up my signature line. Uh, we have to change the way that this Google Doc is handling this image to get it to look uh, correct on the page. So to do that, we'll select this. And first of all, let's get this down to a normal size. So now we have a little bit more normal signature. With the signature selected, I get this little box that pops up and it allows me to do a few things. One. I can go back and edit the signature. So if I decide this looks too terrible to be acceptable, I can come back and erase it and change it or do something else to it if I want it. The other thing I can do is I can change the way that Google Docs handles this image. So when an image is in line, the doc treats it like text, meaning that if I wanna move it up and down on the page, I have to use return and delete to literally move it like I would move a block of text. We don't wanna do that in this case. I can wrap the text around this image, which you can see if I move this up, I can now freeform move this around on the page just by clicking and dragging, and it wraps the text around the image. Also not ideal. The third option is to break text. And what this would normally do is if I had a paragraph of text and I stuck the image right in the middle, it would split the paragraph above and below the image. In addition to that, we can actually change the margin to zero margin, meaning that, meaning that there's no extra margin around this image. And now I can actually use my arrow keys to get this into place. So you'll notice I can't get this super close, you know, just sitting right on the line. But honestly, this is good enough. Um, an electronic signature is just an image of your signature on the page. And I think this works just fine. Um, 
Just keep in mind that an electronic signature and a digital signature are very different things. So if someone asks you for a digital signature, using Google Docs won't work. You'll have to use something like DocuSign or another digital signature service. But for an electronic signature like this, for a um, some simple agreement, or uh, oftentimes we have um, contracts with schools that I just need to sign quickly, um, th this kind of electronic signature works just fine. So as you can see, if you're a Chromebook user or you're a big time Google Docs user, this is a great way to electronically sign PDFs or any other kind of document without having to exit Google Docs and use a third party app. Um, I really like this for Chromebooks because my Chromebook that I have as a touch screen so I can quickly sign things with my finger is pretty great. The other thing that you can do is you can always create a um, signature in Google Drive um, as a drawing and just have it saved there. And then anytime you wanna sign a document, you can simply go to insert and then pull up that signature from your Google Drive, kind of like the way that um, Adobe Acrobat and Preview on a Mac works where it saves your, your electronic signature. Well, that's all I've got for you today. I hope this was helpful. As always, hit that subscribe button if you like our videos. We release new tech tips every weekday at noon as well as two live stream projects every weekday in 10 and two. Check out the DAE.com for our full list of online workshops and classes and private lessons. We have classes and uh, private lessons for people of all ages in all areas of creative technology. And if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me create, throw it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks and have a great day.